Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yeah! Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. <laughs> I am super excited to be scrutinizing another swing dance competition for you today. But first, make sure you subscribe and smash that notification button so you never miss a swing dance reaction video ever again. Today, it looks like we are going to see a Lindy Hop Strictly final. This means you're going to see a lot of improvisation with the leader and a follower, but you're going to have a little bit of choreography. Hopefully not a whole lot. By the way, I'm happy. This is my favorite competition. Do not let your hearts be troubled. I will be giving you the absolute truth about who I feel are the winners of this competition. So if you are someone who gets triggered by the truth, this is not the place for you. Okie dokie. Let's get into this. I don't know what to expect. KSDC. Where is this? Okay, somebody's excited. I like at least how the camera's cutting and they're still getting full body. They're not like just taking video of their shoes. Okay. <laughs> this guy's excited on the video. Man, I love his socks. Okay. Is it is it only one person in the audience? <laughs> you know, that would be really funny if it was. Who is next? Pelvic thrust. <laughs> That's an automatic get the audience involved. Yeah. Uh oh, am I lost something? <laughs> I like Arlene, I like it. Yes, Ariels. They got like the best part of the music. Sometimes that just happens. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. This was pretty fun right off the bat. Uh, we had some, some cheerleaders in the crowd. And uh, I love when people do that. 
when people are are vocal and they're into it and, and the audience is dead, they're like the first clapper. You know when you go to like a concert or something or you're at church, usually there's the first clapper. And that person is usually for me the one, the realest one. And it's just like, you know, everybody else has to uh, stand up after or start clapping after. This guy on this video is hollering the whole time. I love that. Whoever he is, that, that that's shout out to you. That was awesome. Ah, uh, where do I start on this one? I, you know, this was a really interesting competition. I think everybody in this competition seemed to be having a good time. I didn't see any nervousness or just, you know, this indifference of, you know, here's another Jack and Jill at the late night. We can barely get anybody to sign up for it. I didn't get that vibe at all. Uh, even though I don't see anybody else in the audience other than uh, cheerleader number one, I can hear him, but these people are just having a great time and they really are capturing the spirit of what, what this is all about. You're, you're sharing some beautiful energy with another person and we all as audience members get a chance to just enjoy what you're doing together. And I think that's fantastic and they enjoyed it. So, um... Man, how do I even critique this one? Because I tell you what, you guys know I like to do a compliment sandwich. And I can't really tell you hardly anything that was negative about uh, the presentation as a whole. Even though it's hard for me, I will find a way to find something. But I'm going to tell you right now, my favorite couple... Uh, <coughs> pardon me, I'm still covering, recovering from this terrible hacking cough for the last month. Uh, my favorite couple would be, uh, she, let's see, she had like a, uh, she had a white dress on and had like little dots. I liked her dancing and I liked the guy with the orange socks. He had like this, he had so many like playful movements and he was like moving freely with his partner. And I like that when, when everybody has the technical part of swing dancing, AKA the control part I talk about all the time, which is just leading and following and being able to do a lot of the traditional shapes. I like to see how people can add on top of that with their personality. And it seemed as if this couple was extremely comfortable moving with the traditional shapes and yet trying different things. They were doing a lot of different shapes that were really kind of led by the leader in, in terms of tone. Obviously, the leader is leading the moves, but I think the energy level was really highlighted the most with the leader on that one. And uh, the follower was just going with it. He was trying all kinds of different turns and things and um, stopping at certain points and letting his partner go around. I, I love some of those moves. A lot of them may not be like 100% original, but I like to see people have the fearless abandon to try it uh, when there's not a whole lot of like other people that might be willing to do that. So they were my favorite couple. I, I you know, I can, it's hard for me to rate like this kind of competition. It seemed, it seemed uh, that everybody was just simply having a good time. So I can only be biased. I can only tell you what I liked most. And of course, that was the couple I liked most. Let me tell you the the uh, follower I enjoyed the most, the one I that stood out to me the most would have to be the follower. She was wearing a white shirt. She had a little black, a little, it looked like birds on it or something, and a black dress. Uh, they were my favorite couple together. I think my other couple was just my favorite altogether in terms of what I liked, uh, in terms of control and timing and creativity. They had the full package to me. But when it, when it, this particular couple had uh, what I would normally put in third place uh, for. They, they had the quality of movement where I could literally see the leader taking his time, not getting in the way of the follower. And I, because of that, I could appreciate her more. She was my favorite, uh, might I say, my, probably my favorite dancer of this competition. Yeah, she was all, all white with black and black skirt. And the leader with the orange socks was probably my favorite leader, mainly because of the moves that he was just trying. So, you know, if I'm at an event like this and uh, I was doing the judging, literally, it's the same criteria. Number one, I got to see control. And if people are in a competition doing traditional swing dancing moves, they clearly have control. And that's the only objective part I can go by. Can they lead? Can they follow? 
doing the traditional swing dance moves. Now, people might argue about what's the traditional swing dance moves. We all know them. Stop it. It's just a bit pretentious. Swing swing outs, tuck turns, Texas Tommies, Charleston, tandem, hand-to-hand. We all know those moves. And if people can do that, jumping into a competition, it means that they understand the bare minimum to, to actually be considered, okay, relevant to pay attention to. But the part that really sets them apart is how they use those that technique in the timing of the music. And I, you know, like I said, I've given you my winner um, and my uh, favorite couple and my follower. Now, if a person has control of the timing, that's great. You know, that usually gets you a second place position for me, but first place always goes to the person who has the control. They also have the ability to place their movements in time with the music where the music can be elevated and the audience can give an emotional reaction to that. Um, I don't know how to really explain it more than that. There's this gelling of what we hear in audio and what we see visually. And uh, obviously there's multiple ways you can do that, but whoever does it the most effectively, um, the audience tends to respond to. Just the way it is, it's weird. Um, now, that, that last determining factor that I like is the creativity. Can you do something we haven't seen before or maybe even have a unique, a unique uh, tone in how you're dancing where your moves might be similar to other people's moves, but how you look doing them might be different, right? Uh, and so that's what I like to go by. Those are the three things. And this was a really fun competition. It, it's it, it didn't even seem like it was really a competition. It felt like it was more of a jam where people were just getting together, having a good time. We're just going to vibe out with our friends. And, oh, by the way, we're being judged for this. <laughs> That's great. So somebody let me know where this is from. KSDC Exchange 2020. Um, this looks like the kind of event I would probably want to go to. Um, everybody seems pretty happy. It seems like people are just down to earth. And, and th that's what I like. I like going to places where people want to dance with each other. And the best of the best dancers look like they're having a good time. They don't look like they're just, you know, dying to compete or they look super pretentious. I don't get that vibe from from the display of talent that I just saw tonight. So um, that was extremely enjoyable. So good job, guys, on whoever these folks are in this competition. Uh, let me know who the dancer are, is with the orange socks. I really, really liked his dancing. He was my, my favorite uh, lead on here, mainly because of uh, the personality that he added in his dancing. He had this humor, and there's just a lot of abandon and a lot of uh, tricks that he did. And I, and I like that. I like when people add tricks. Uh, to their dancing and uh, so let me know guys uh, who, who that dancer is in the comment section give him a proper shout out because he is legit uh, if you guys aren't doing this you should check out some of my free courses below obviously there's like 25 to 30 courses and it's a lot of content I really believe that Lindy Hop is easy and uh, if it is easy therefore what are we doing to add value to this tre tremendous art form well I like to create a lot of bunch a, a lot of different moves and uh, so each week we're adding different moves Monday and Tuesdays in our community online street smart swing. So I want to give you guys a taste of what that is like. You get a, a handful of courses. You can see what it's like. Uh, our approach to the dance is really simple, but it's liberating. Uh, I spent over 10,000 hours, guys, working on different things. So if you if you want to check that out, check it out. It's a lot of fun. If you guys are needing a streamlined approach to Lindy Hop where you, you can fix yourself on your social dancing and not always need a teacher, check out my fundamentals membership. That's the one that will really just clear the road for you so you'll know ultimately what's objective and what's subjective. So when you take classes, you'll know how to just translate what everybody's saying within a very simple way so that you can never be confused and you can always stay in phase one. Phase one is a little bit of class and a lot of social dancing. So um, do that if you like. Let me know what you guys thought about this particular competition in the comment section. I thought it was cool. Let me know about uh, KSDC, where this is at, and who those dancers are that I mentioned, because they're awesome. And if I don't see you guys' comments below, uh, hopefully I get a chance to see you in some of my classes online. Have a great day. Take care.